fight back? Um, I got on the on the on the side where you might have uh, an advantage. Um, and I was still really struggling on that side, but I kept fighting with it and tried to to, to play the right the right strokes and uh, tactically do the right things. Um, and slowly I was getting more and more confident and playing better and better. Um, but it took me a while. Uh, but still, actually, I'm very happy that I was able to find a way. Uh, to win. Um, as mentioned, I've been injured, I have definitely lacking match experience, so to be able to win the first match, I'm very, very thrilled about that. Yeah, I mean, I could write a book about it, I mean, a documentary or something. I'm very sad that I haven't had my camera, cameraman Oliver with me for the last few months because it's, it has been a crazy, crazy struggle. Um, every single day, some new issues that I had to, to deal with, fight through and find a, a way to to, to cope with. Um, so I've been struggling a lot for for the last year, I would say, but especially the last half a year or three months has been, yeah, kind of crazy. So um, we can talk about that another time. It's, it will be a bit too long here in, the, in a few minute interview. But uh, physically, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling good. I've been working very hard on my physique. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, playing a match like that is something that you need to experience over and over again to, to get used to it and so I'm lacking match experience that's for sure but fitness wise I feel quite good um, so yeah. Okay after this what are your targets? Uh, last question. Yeah last question. Yeah, one more one. What are you hoping for? Uh, just to uh, play, a, play a good match against Ginzing. I never enter the court and try to not win so obviously I will do absolutely everything to, to win. Uh, Li Zizia said you are his best, best friend <laughs> okay and uh, <laughs> did you offer him any advice you know on how to Make him more, you know, uh, consistent, you know, in his play. And how about I'm not the you right, I'm not the right guy to ask about consistency. <laughs> I don't know about consistency. Do you guys uh, help each other, you know, to improve? Yeah, we we, we, we talk a lot and we text quite a lot. Uh, we have we, we we have a good relationship. We have talked quite a lot. And when he was in Denmark, I tried to to help him out if if he needed anything. We hung out together, ate, ate a dinner and, and stuff like that. He was at my apartment and, and here I was visiting his place out on the practice. Obviously he has had a, a few busy days so we haven't had a dinner or lunch yet but uh, hopefully later on the week. We have a good relationship. Uh, yeah, I, like, but, I, I like it. Yeah, but uh, you guys actually share kind of like similar you know, situation. He's also having quite a bad year, uh, especially at the later st stage of his, uh, you know. I mean... Uh, I don't know, relatively uh, bad year for him, I would say. I mean, he's number two in the world, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know what a bad year is. I would say I had a bad year. Uh, he, he won the Asian Championships, he won the Thailand Open, so maybe he expected even more, I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Uh, but compared to my year, his year was very good. So, uh, yeah, tell, tell you to have that in mind if he's complaining. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.